In this video, we launch the new high field. Sydney shows you how to party, and I show you how to set the lines on the dinghy. Welcome to Sailing Doodles. In this series of videos, we are cruising in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Thank you so much to our patrons. In the previous video, we celebrated officially having the boat renamed to the dark side, and then we have received our new high field dinghy. Thank you to Highfield and Suncoast Inflatables for sending us this dinghy. Sweet! Yes. We're having too much fun. All right, so All right, we're Jesse going. from uh, St. Thomas Marine came to pick us up, towing us over to get some gas. All right, first ride in the dinghy. Uh, oh, a little, yeah. little abnormal. Yeah. Ready to do donuts. Get some gasolina. Oh, yeah. We're so excited. There we go. Got 40 horses in there? Four, look at how, man, that thing is, looks like a car in it. Yeah. No oil. Well, no, there is oil. I think they may have drained the oil, because I'm not, I need like There's a- no oil in it? Well, I mean, they shipped it, so they may have drained the oil. I need a paper towel or something. All right, all we need is fuel. With it fueled up and all the fluids checked, it was time to start it. Although we probably should have taken it out of gear first. It's time to party. Yep. All right, says so we got fuel, we're gonna start it for the first time. Gotta. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> you didn't want to start this thing, did you? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> what if they gave you the wrong key? Let <laughs> me I mean, I mean, hold it. Okay. Okay, I got it. You can tighten it down. Yeah. <laughs> she's alive. Does that mean she's alive? <laughs> All right. Well, I've solved that. It was in gear. <laughs> I thought it was in gear. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Nice and smooth so far. Here we got to go down over there. When we made it back to the boat, the guys from St. Thomas Marine Services were defueling our aft tank so that they could clean it out. All right, so it's Kyle and Patrick from uh, what? St. Thomas Marine. St. Thomas Marine Services. So how bad was the fuel? Pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty bad. Pretty bad. All right. Well, cool. Thank you guys. Uh, appreciate it. Cheers. 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 We made it back with the new dinghy. All right. Cheers. And <laughs> lovely neighbors. Right? Our boat neighbors. Yeah, they were getting rid of all their extra beer, so they gave it to us. They're actually viewers and patrons. So awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah. All right, so we're doing some uh, hors d'oeuvres, some charcuterie. 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 <laughs> Made by her. And then, uh, then what are we doing? We're doing chicken and bowling. We're gonna go chicken, chicken and, and bowling. bowling. Yeah, chicken and bowling. bowling. Chicken and bowling. Do you have to eat the chicken while you bowl? I mean, like, at the we'll same time. I'm pretty sure it's like a frozen you to, chicken. You have to eat the chicken with your fingers and then you bowl. Oh, yeah. Oh, that That's sounds sexually very hygienic. All right, so successful dinghy mission. Yes. Now we're gonna go celebrate by bowling with chickens. Bowling with chickens. Let's see what this. I was a little dubious of a place called Chicken and Bowling, but it was actually quite nice and a lot of fun. Place ready to handle my balls. Oh, ball deep. Oh no. Nope. Hey, first ball. If Bobby throws out his elbow or shoulder, I'm just saying, watch these videos back.
fair. Cheers, guys. Cheers. The chicken bowl. Chicken bowl. Chicken bowl. All right, it's the tenth frame. I'm over 100, but I don't think I've got it. I'm at 111. But uh, Sam, oh yeah, Sam's gonna win. Sam's gonna win. Oh, and we got a winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. <laughs> winner, chicken dinner. There you go. Sam took the first game with a score of 117. Never a dull moment with Sydney. Bowling was fun and surprisingly the chicken was very good. Sorry for the tears in your eyes. Hey, love, give me just one. Chicken. Nice. Alright, nice and dock docking next to some uh, viewers and patrons. Good guys, we're gonna hang out with them later later on at Water Island, so you might see them later. But today I got Patrick back here with St. Thomas Marine. He's uh, taking the fuel off the boat and then you're gonna clean it today in the tank or what? Alright, cool. Uh, and then I am actually getting all the lines and stuff set for the new high field here. So I'll give you a proper tour of the high field in a little bit, but right now I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the lines. So I've got a stern anchor and a bow anchor, because um, this thing is too heavy to like, you know, pull up the beach. So normally you just throw a stern anchor on the way in and then take your bow anchor to the beach, dig it in, and then it sits there just outside the surf and it's a good way to do it. Really easy. I mean, you know, you get down to the water in your knees, whatever. Uh, so getting the lines ready, getting them all cut up and everything and good to go. I am not going to teach you how to tie a knot. Uh, there's lots of tutorials on that. But while something like this, you don't really want to do a bowling because a bowling when it's not under load can like you know, if it's washing around, whatever can actually undo itself eventually. Um, on this kind of knot, which is not planned to really ever be untied, I will do a halyard knot. Um, you can look that up, and that way, you know, the harder you pull, the tighter that knot gets, and eventually you will not be able to get that knot undone. You'll have to uh, basically cut the line and cut it off, but it's a good way to do for stuff like this that is not intended to really ever be undone. There we go, how you're not. So the tighter this pulls on here, the tighter that knot's gonna get and it won't come undone just, you know. Because a, a, you know, a bowling, if it's washing around and it's not under load, can kind of untie itself. This will not. So we got the two anchors all rigged up. This is gonna be my bow anchor. Uh, just put five feet of chain on there to help it grab. It's just a little Brittany. It doesn't have the little hang that goes off on a Danforth. Uh, I didn't want that because I want to be able to store it uh, in the forward compartment of the dinghy. And that's also where the fuel tank lives, which is right under here. So there's not a whole lot of space here, but it's really cool. It's like a nine gallon built-in fuel tank. So you get a lot of extra fuel and it's pretty cool. I really enjoy it. And then for my stern anchor, just a little plow. Put it in there too with the uh, same chain. This one's a little bit shorter than that other line. That'll go into the rear seat. And I'm actually going to put a couple life jackets in here too, because I hear they've been checking for life jackets and dinghies lately down here. And then, so I do have the crane that lifts this on the top, so I just got a pretty good sized O-ring here, the stainless ring, and then hooked up 
to the hoisting points shackles here uh clips or carabiners rather that i can just take off so that when you know after i got in the water it's not going to be going back up for a while I'll just take these off and store this line's just not in the way and then i've got it to one point forward too uh and if i i've got, temporarily just got a bowling in here um and i can move this around so i haven't actually lifted it yet to see if we've got it balanced but i'll do that when we put the dinghy up just kind of see if it's balanced if i got it in the right spot if i need to adjust it i can all right and uh last thing i'm doing today i also need to make a bridle like a one of the great things about these high fields is they are aluminum hulled boats, right? So there's no, like a fiberglass boat has just drilled holes through it where they put a D-ring and bolt it on. And so, you know, it's not part of the frame. And I've had that happen on a fiberglass dinghy where the uh, U-bolt, the D-bolt D-ring pulls out of the fiberglass and then your boat's, you know, whatever, gone. Um, so, but this, these are aluminum, so they're welded in there. So the little bolts in there, I can't show it because it's too, it's like right at the water line, can't get the camera down there. But so I tied on this floating line using a halyard knot again on both ends because I don't ever plan to do this. And I put this carabiner here. It's a high strength carabiner. The reason I do carabiners on the end is, let's say you're coming back to the boat, you've had a drink or two, and then uh, you tie it on and you screw it up somehow. And then you wake up in the morning, your dinghy's gone. With this, I can clip it right to the boat. I know it's done and I'm not gonna you know wake up in the middle of the night because I've done that I've waking up in the middle of the night and like did I tie that off right and I've gotten up and checked but this way I do it I just clip it on and we're good to go well I didn't film the actual work on it but uh, this shower this um, power cord has seen better days right so this has an auto coiler system and see that's where it kind of gets these little scratches on them from uh, and then this is probably if not the original um, power cord. It's a very old one. And so it's been baked by the sun. The outer casing has just gotten really brittle and it's cracked in a bunch of spaces. And it was getting uh, like uh, jammed up in the auto coiler. And I mean, it's a potential hazard, right? I mean, the interior lines are fine right there. But anyway, so I just cut about 15 feet of this power cord off and spliced the head on to uh, what was left of it. There you go, got that done. That's been something I've been wanting to do for a while. Getting boat projects done, that's what it is. All right, so all the fuel is out, and now he is actually pressure washing the inside of the tank, and uh, gonna you know put some I don't know if it's degreaser or whatever to help you know get all the stuff off, and then he's gonna drain it over the board, and then we're gonna leave it open a little bit to let it all. He's gonna get it as dry as he can, you know. I mean, all all the, all the most of the water out or all the water out, and then we're only gonna leave it open so that hopefully the rest of the, everything get out of there, and then put fuel back in it and see how we do. Don't forget, for the month of June, we are donating 10 cents for every new subscriber to the channel. So far, we've raised over $700 for the first half of the month. So hit that subscribe button, and you can help out too. I wonder, is it worth living now? They told me dreams come true once you live it out. I picked the pieces from my childhood in a broken house.